Hello friends, welcome. Welcome, who is here with me? Can you guess him? Chandeep Chabra, finally we met. I'm in Dubai right now, we are sitting in Sports City and what is a great day today. And sitting in Sports City and Excel is our sport. Absolutely. Yeah, the way we do sporting in Excel. So we thought of why not, as usual, with my friends, I make these Excel videos on tricks. So Chandeep, thank you for coming and uh, wow. Chandi, what do you have today for us Thank on you. this uh, great day? Thank you for us. So I'm going to talk about uh, a general filtering technique which is going to be immensely helpful if you work with data and filters is what your jam is. You apply a lot of filters to your files. This is going to make your life so, so much easier. Perfect. Let's start. So yeah, please okay. go ahead Chandi. Alright. <clears throat> so consider that we have this data. Mm -hmm. And the general way that you would apply the filters is that you could select the headers of the columns and maybe, maybe using the keyboard shortcut or using the mouse, you're going to go to the data and then apply the filters from here. That's one way to apply filters. Mm -hmm. You're going to hit the drop down and then you'll pick up the value that you would want to select. But I have a better way. So I'm just going to remove the filters and try to activate something called as an auto filter in Excel. Right? Okay. Right. Auto filter is like another name for filtering by selection. What it means is that I would just be able to select B mm -hmm. and apply a filter on B oh, without having filters up on the top. So you have to activate that first. So I'm just going to go over to the files right here and hop over to the options. In options, I will say that I would like to customize my quick access toolbar. Generally, what you see here is popular commands, but I would like to change that to commands not in the ribbon mm -hmm. and maybe pick up auto filter that you now see. Now, commands not in the ribbon is going to show you all the commands which are there in Excel, Okay. but you can't see that on the ribbon. So that commands are only known to Chandeep now. No. <laughs> so you're sharing with us. <laughs> auto filter is pretty amazing. I'm just going to add that right here. Okay. The auto filter is added. I'm going to click on OK and you can see that now in my quick access toolbar, I have auto filter right here up on the top. Okay. Now, Sometimes this auto filter on the quick access toolbar might just appear up on the top as well. But right now this has been yeah, customized this, to. Yeah, that's, that's per my meaning. Now, it's very important for you to realize that on what position are you dragging the auto filter. So if I just go back to the options once again, in the quick access toolbar, you can see that the auto filter has been dragged to the first position. So our shortcut is going to automatically assign the first number or the index number one to mm -hmm. it. All right. Okay. So now what do I do? I click on OK. I now let's just say that there are no filters up on the top. This is completely blanked out. I select B and if I want to apply filter to B, I'm going to use the alt key and this is the alt, right? Yeah. So I'll just say alt one and voila. Oh, whoa, 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 bro. <laughs> bro, what is this? This right. is super. So uh, just try it out on A. Is it really working on A as well? Yeah, sure. So I'm going to cancel the filters. How do you say Control and Shift? This is a Mac that we're working on. Control and Shift. Shift and L. And this is going to remove the filters. Now I'm going to go back to A and I'll say Alt 1 because my auto filter is on the first position and that filters out. Auto oh, wow. That's amazing. Now, one more trick just to follow up on that. Now, this works pretty good on the values which are text columns, right? But what if, what if you want to apply a filter to a numeric call, right? That's sure enough, good. I can go to 11,466 and I can press, let's say, Alt-1 and I'm going to get that value. But you rarely apply a filter like that. Yeah. You are going to apply filters like more than a certain amount or less than a certain amount and things like that. So I'm going to maybe cancel out the filters right here mm. and I'm going to come to the bottom of the data and I will write my filter condition here. So let's just say that I'm looking for values which are more than equal to 13,000. I write the filter condition in the cell right here, go back to that cell and hit my auto filter which is alt one at the moment. And Whoa, wow. oh, bro, <laughs> your rocket man. This so, is an amazing that was a, quote. Yeah, that was that was something that super fast and yeah, that's uh, pretty interesting. Although it leaves a little bit of junk at the end, so you you have this junk value in the end that like your data is getting polluted. So you might want to get rid of that value in the end once you're done. And but it helps you kind of uh, work with filters pretty fast. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. And 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 I believe this fix as well works for the Mac because Mac does have. We're working on a Mac. Uh, yeah, yeah. We are working on a Mac. We are using panels, okay, of course. <laughs> yeah. And uh, even if the Mac uses, if you are trying to do this the same way, you can apply the auto filter system. So Chandeep, thank you very much for this Absolutely. lovely trick. And uh, make sure, my friends, you follow Chandeep channel. Thank it's you. It's goodly. 
and uh, follow my channel as well and stay for more tips and tricks on Excel. Thank you. Till then, take care. Bye from Dubai.